Welcome to the House of Belthorian. Um, today, uh, we're going to talk about the big patch that came out. Uh, was it yesterday or maybe Tuesday? I can't remember, but big patch, lots of fixes. How did it affect performance in VR, uh, if it did at all? Now, as a quick refresher, um, my streaming settings uh, through virtual desktop for my Quest 3 is, you know, I have it set on Godlike because I have a 4090. Um, I do, uh, now, here's one of the big changes. Synchronous Space Warp, SSW, I have it always enabled. Um, this is basically uh, NVIDIA frame generation, but for VR. Um, I have the Snapdragon game super resolution, upscaling, uh, video buffering, um, center to play space, uh, whatever. Um, the, uh, I do have the increased color vibrance, increased video nominal range. Uh, I do have show performance overlay, which you'll see, but I, you know, the cool thing with the, uh, this is you could just hit both thumbsticks to hide it. I am running at 90 megahertz, uh, for my VR frame rate and my VR bit rate is 200 megabits. Um, I am connected via Wi-Fi 6 with a 22,401 megabit per second signal. Okay, now, um, for my VR settings, let's go to... Okay, so for the PC part of it, okay, and I don't know why. There we go. For the P PC part, okay, these have no effect at all on whatever you're you're gonna see in your headset. So I literally I turn everything off um, when I come down here. Uh, I back this down as low as I can get it. Everything's low, low, or off. Like I said, there, all this affects is the mirror of what you see on your monitor. So, you know, I don't see it when I'm in VR. That's literally wasted overhead. Okay. Now, in VR. Okay. I've got my NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution. Uh, I've got DLAA selected. Uh, AMD Fidelity FX Sharpening. I've done a lot of experimenting with it, and at 130 seems to be about the sweet spot for me. Um, I don't use motion reprojection. And then the world scale, I have it increased just a little bit. Uh, I'll be honest, somebody, yeah, I just saw it in a video where somebody's like, oh, the VR scale is a little small. And, you know, in theirs, they set it up. So, you know, monkey see, monkey do. I bumped mine up just a little bit. I really don't know, notice the difference, but anywho, um, now, uh, I'm running my, uh, terrain level of detail at 150 and I am running my object level at 150. Uh, I have everything maxed out to ultra. Uh, well, well that needs to be changed, but you have to reset flight sim to do it. Uh, my antisotropic filtering is on in the card. So I turn it off in the sim. Uh, and then so everything is either ultra or if the highest setting that it has is high, it's set to high. Okay, windshield effects, the highest it goes is medium. So pretty sure. Oh, no, it goes to high. All right. Okay, so maybe I am not on. Maybe I don't have everything on at Ultra. I swear these settings seems to change uh, on their own. I don't know why or how. That's just how it is. But, like I said, for the most part, I have everything set to Ultra. Okay, let's go ahead and jump to VR. All right, now I am in like my favorite GA aircraft, the Bonanza V35B uh, V-tail. Very famous 
aircraft. Um, it's the kind of aircraft that uh, Richie Valens, Buddy Holly, and the Big Bopper lost their life in. Also, uh, Ozzy Osbourne guitarist Randy Rhodes was also killed in one of these. Um, so, yeah, a lot of famous people have died. It, it has the uh, infamous nickname of uh, the Doctor Killer because I guess a lot of... Uh, I guess a lot of, uh, you know, doctors with, you know, guys with money would buy these things. And it's a, you know, pretty high performance aircraft and, you know, can be tricky to fly. So that's how it got that infamous nickname. Let's go flaps down. Now, as you can see, you know, I'm getting a right here within Minneapolis International Airport. I'm getting, you know, high 40s, low 50s. And I'm gonna be flying uh, over Minneapolis today. Uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And the, uh, the scenery upgrade I'm using is Sam Sim 3Ds, US Modern Cities, volume four you know Minneapolis is one of the cities that's in that pack and so the the default you know in-game scenery uh, for Minneapolis um, is atrocious in both uh, Flight Sim 2020 and 2024. Um, I will say that Sam Sim 3D did a phenomenal job with Minneapolis. They you know, fixed all the bridges. They added Vikings, you know, U.S. Bank Stadium, you know, a lot of uh, buildings within the city. Contact departure on one, two, four, seven. My only Good gripe day. would be uh, they did not they did not touch target field. It looks it still looks pretty bad, but four, two, seven, tree, tree, four miles north but it is a ILS massive runway, upgrade over um, it's a massive upgrade two, over what it tree, used to be. Tower. Altimeter tree zero. Four tree cleared ILS Zulu runway tree five approach. Delta 1554 number 4 for landing. Follow the aircraft on base. And the only reason why I, I one of the reasons why I'm testing this area, why I like flying around here, you know, my best friend from the Army, uh, who, you know, that we still stay in touch after 30 years on a regular basis. Um, he lives uh, about an hour, hour and a half south of Minneapolis or whatever. He's from Minnesota, so. Minneapolis Tower, Beechcraft, November 2, five zero you know, four frequency I'm getting change. a rock solid, you know, high 60s, low 70s FPS after the update uh, using virtual desktop and SSW enabled. 2,100 feet. I, you following. can't ask for any more than that. You really can't. Beach um, November 2509 or 4 Minneapolis approach. Squawk 2632. You know, I, I keep seeing, you know, videos where people talk about they're having Squawk terrible performance and, two beach crab zero nine and flight sim and VR and things like that. And I mean, I've got pretty good hardware. I've got a, uh, a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. I do have 64 gig of RAM, and I've got an RTX 4090. Um, and yeah, like I said, to be able to be pushing 72 frames a second uh, over, you know, Minnesota or Minneapolis, uh, an urban area like this. Five Beechcraft zero nine or four. I am 100% satisfied. I know some people don't like, you know, frame generation and things like that. No, oh, it leads to shimmering. It leads to this. I hear it all. You know, as I've heard some people call it fake frames and all these things. But it is absolutely crystal clear. You know, the my gauges, crystal clear. Everything, you know, outside. 
Now, you know, I don't know if this is because of SSW, but sometimes when I when I move around my aircraft like that, you notice the little bump. Well, it doesn't didn't do it there. Right there. Like sometimes you'll get a little bit of that. Minneapolis approach Beechcraft November 2509er for 3, But if that's the feet. if that's the only trade-off. You know, uh, get a little bit of shimmy on exterior views to get, you know, frame rates like this. Hey, so be it. Let's cut my throttle because I'm going to try to go down and zoom. The Golden Gopher Stadium. Mm. But yeah, the in the, the default scenery in the sim, yeah, the all the bridges are uh, absolute disaster. Um, so you know, modern cities for fix that. Five. Good day. One two six. Fife Beechcraft zero nine or four. Yep, that's where the Golden Gophers play. Mm. Minneapolis approach generic November five one zero tree tango is type generic two miles southeast of two one delta two thousand feet. Request flight following. Generic November five one zero tree tango Minneapolis approach. Squawk four four one six. So if you are, if you have a Quest and you are using virtual desktop and you have not tried Synchronous Space Warp, uh, I cannot recommend it any higher. Uh, it has been a game changer for me. Um, before I was using it, you know, once again, you know, it's funny, everybody, you know, there's a hundred videos on the same topic and everybody says something different. You know, I heard people go, oh, you know, SSW sucks, don't use it. Uh, you know, so I wasn't using it. Uh, but the, uh, I'm a little OCD as far as I, you know, God, even when I think I have my settings perfect, I can't help but mess with them. And, uh, you know, just trying to, constantly dial in you know sometimes I'll wind up dialing my settings out but um, so yeah I tried SSW and you know it made a massive change um, without it uh, if I was in ultra mode I would probably be getting 20 frames a second maybe less um, because you know I was running VR on like mid-range mid-level without S, uh, SSW I was getting acceptable frame rates but being able to jack up my terrain level of detail object level of detail uh, you know things that are incredibly you know CPU in or intensive like you know I have my trees on ultra like if I have plants on ultra you know grass on ultra um, you know I could probably turn those down to get even more um, and you know, and I once again, I will be experimenting with that. I will be, you know, swapping down tree quality, plant quality, rock quality, or whatever. And, you know, increasing my TLD, trying to get more detail there. You know, trying to balance out my settings. Um, but I'll be honest, like yeah, as I change terrain level of detail and things like that in VR. It, really don't notice much difference and you know maybe you know there just isn't really much difference between 100 and 150 in VR you know, I don't know and you know as I mentioned yeah, I'm kind of like OCD on things I'm great at recognizing like patterns and things like that I see anomalies all the time I'm usually really really good at picking up on that and so for example um you know, all the rage right now in Flight Simulator is um, change the secondary scaling. You know, it did help with you know, ghosting on your instrument panels and all that. 
Um, yeah, they're like, oh, you can't see the difference between DLAA and, and you know, quality or, or high performance or whatever. Uh, well, in VR, you can. It's pretty clear. You can see the differences between DLAA and any of the downscale, downscaled variants of DLSS. And so, um, not to mention that secondary scaling is a massive hit on your is a massive hit on your uh, CPU or GPU whatever and it causes like you know massive frame loss I mean I have a guy a, a friend of mine who's got about the same system and uh, you know he's got his uh, secondary scaling set to 2.0 because he saw it in a video and you know He's got, you know, frame gen on and everything, and he's still, like, barely getting more than 20 frames a second, or he's getting, you know, under 30 frames a second. And, um, but, you know, I mean, I, I guess if that works for him, that works for him. But the, uh, I guess my point is, is everybody's going to have a video or an idea for video. They're going to have their own clickbaity titles, you know, to try to get people to watch them. So, you know, I, I tell people that, or I strongly encourage, don't take my word for it. When you look at my settings, try them for yourself. See if they work for your, um, for your setup. Uh, as I say, individual mileage will vary. And so, um, you know, you, you can, like I said, you can try it, tweak it, and you know they and i used to be like a computer tech way back in the day and you know one of the funny things that you know i always noticed is i you know i could build two identical computers with two you know all the identical hardware everything you install it and they still behave slightly different from one another and so you know you may have all the same hardware and everything i have and it may perform better. It may perform worse for you. I don't know. But, uh, you know, feel free. Try my settings. Uh, see how they work for you. And let me know. Uh, leave some, you know, leave some, you know, leave your comments below. If you have any suggestions, any tips, tricks, or hacks that you've discovered in uh, Flight Sim 2024 that you'd like me to try, you know, hey, put it out there. I'm, you know, once again, I'm always... Uh, Minneapolis approach Beechcraft. I'm always messing with settings and willing, willing to try anything. Um, if you would, please like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And hopefully, this you know can help uh, somebody with their VR settings. Uh, until next time, have a wonderful day.